Hi everybody, George Donnelly. Uh, let's talk about why. Um, why should anyone uh, build on Bitcoin Cash? Why should they use it? Uh, why should they accept it? Um, why should anyone give Bitcoin Cash a second thought, right? So some answers may talk about low fees. Uh, we're better than uh, BTC. Uh, you know, we have um, instant transactions. Uh, we have, uh, you know, this or that feature, right? But, you know, that's, that's not really, um, just clear all that off the board, right? Because, you know, n people who don't know very much or maybe anything at all about the whole Bitcoin Cash context, they don't really care about um, you know the the history with Bitcoin Core, they don't really care about um, you know that we have this or that feature. At the end of the day, people want to know what's in it for them, right? And and so um, and the why you know the the why and the what's in it for them you know why should I care about this? Um, you know, this is really the engine of, of everything. Uh, we don't want to turn into another irrelevant, uh, idealistic project like a Digibyte or a Dash or a BSV, right? I mean, you can say just BSV is a scam or whatever, but, um, you know, I think they have their idealism behind it, you know, about like giant blocks. I mean, whatever. I think it's pretty misguided. But anyway, we don't want to turn into an irrelevant coin. Right. And just, you know, like Don Quixote tilting at windmills, you know, out of the top 100 on coin market cap. Relevance is important. And so it's not just enough for us to say that BCH is better than BTC or BTC screwed us or our transactions are faster or our blocks are bigger, right? Our why uh, needs to relate, needs to be a story that relates to um, mainstream people. Yeah, it's not just enough to maintain internal community cohesion um, you know, it's not enough to just be like, you know, hey, nobody, nobody leave, please, nobody leave. Everybody's got to stay, right? We need to be growing. Um, and so that's where the why comes in. So why should anybody give a damn about Bitcoin Cash? Because no one is excluded. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is inclusive. Everyone, everywhere can use it to, um, to have economic activity, you know, that's unlimited, really, because there's no, uh, it's resistant to censorship, right? Which means there's no institution or nation state or whatever that, um, you know, when, when, when it's more fully developed is going to be able to stop it. Um, because, you know, whereas today, you know, you see a lot of people reliant on the nation state for their, their wealth preservation with Bitcoin Cash, you don't have that problem, right? So at the end of the day, Bitcoin Cash, I think the why is prosperity, self-determination, inclusiveness, right? And these are consequences of decentralization. Um, you know, decentralization, people talk about decentralization a lot, but um, what does that really mean, right? This is a very vague concept. This is a very high level, uh, high level concept that kind of floats in the air. And so I think we have to translate that into benefits, benefits that are relevant to the mainstream, right? As I, you know, I just mentioned a few. Um, you know, so I think it's very, very important that Bitcoin Cash remain oriented towards people who are not currently in Bitcoin Cash.
right? And that we constantly are, are researching and honing the, our why. Um, you know, why, and it's not just about why you're into Bitcoin Cash or why I'm into Bitcoin Cash, but why anybody should give a damn about Bitcoin Cash, right? That, that might sound a little bit harsh, but, um, you know, we have to ask that kind of question, right? Why should a farmer in Peru give a damn about Bitcoin Cash? Well, I would say to that farmer that, um, you know, the funds that he earns, uh, you know, he can uh, store that in the form of Bitcoin Cash and he can lock the value whenever he feels concerned about, you know, the, the volatility, he can lock that value by exchanging his BCH for like FlexUSD or hopefully we can have other stable coins, uh, maybe even like Rye or, Di or a better die, you know, not just the die that's a proxy for USDC on smart BCH or, you know, even better, any hedge, right? Because, you know, the farmer um, never knows what, um, you know, what kind of decisions the central bank of Peru are going to make that's going to put his his, uh, you know, the product of his labor into, into doubt, into crisis, you know, the hyperinflation, right? Um, you know, the farmer in Peru never knows what kind of problems he's going to have to conduct his business um, that Bitcoin Cash can help with. Um, and, you know, in Peru is a really interesting uh, case, uh, The Mystery of Capital by uh, economist Hernando de Soto. Really, I encourage everyone to uh, read that book uh, to understand why the, the particular relevance of Bitcoin Cash uh, to um, the, the 2 billion working people uh, in the developing world the informal economy, you know, that, that farmer, does he even have a uh, title to his land, right? He might not. Um, and so in the future, we can develop products uh, like, a, like property, a property registry um, to replace the broken and fragmented property registries of the developing world so that the farmer does have uh, a, a recognizable title to his land and can leverage that in a more advanced DeFi ecosystem uh, to get liquidity to go out and, and expand uh, his farm to buy uh, seeds, to buy fertilizer, to buy uh, a truck to deliver his product uh, to the market uh, to, um, you know, maybe he can, uh, you know, along with other farmers in his region, form a DAO whose purpose is to, um, you know, build roads, right? Because that, that's actually, and, you know, this is, uh, you know, you can see this for yourself, the Deadliest Roads uh, documentary series, which is available for free on YouTube. Roads, um, you know, are a frequent uh, punchline in, um, you know, ANCAP, market anarchist uh, circles, but roads are a serious issue in the developing world, right? Because you can, you can raise a whole crop of, of palm oil or bananas or rice or um, corn or, or, you know, whatever, you know, beef, um, and then you put it in a truck and you want to get it to market and all of a sudden you could experience a situation where um, you can't get it to market and your whole crop is lost or damaged um, or you know the delays mean that it, it it's worth less right and then that has a whole chain of consequences uh, you know down the economic ladder right because if the farmer can't produce a profit then he can't send his child to school and then the, the child can't um, you know, become a, a doctor or, um, you know, gain the skills uh, necessary to be a, uh, an entrepreneur or, you know, even a graphic designer or, or you know, whatever. Um, and so the cycle of, of, you know, inefficient use of capital, be it human or not, is, is, is you know, continued, right? This is, this is 20, we're in 2021. Um, you know, I expected more, frankly. So, um, yeah, so 
I think we, we, need, we need to have, you know, if you look at uh, why Bitcoin Cash, which is an excellent website, right? But a lot of it is about care, comparing BCH to BTC, right? This is, a li in some aspects, this is a little bit of an, a navel gazing kind of why. But we need to think about the why of Bitcoin Cash as it relates to the greater world, right? We've had 12 years of, um, you know, a little bit of an insular uh, Bitcoin, right? A Bitcoin that doesn't want to grow. And um, Bitcoin Cash is, is the foil to that. And we need to really hit, you know, put the gas, uh, put the pedal to the, the metal um, on this and locate Bitcoin Cash, its value, its utility, its possibilities, its why, why does it matter? Why should anybody give a damn in the mainstream? And we already know that, um, you know, in the developing world is probably where it's going to be adopted first as, uh, as currency, as peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash. And so, you know, everyone should really be becoming uh, an expert uh, or at least becoming uh, fluent uh, in, the, in, in the developing world, in the informal economy. You know, I think there are also options in, in, the, in the developed world, right, where you have a lot of people who are locked out, right, of the whole accredited investor thing, right? That, that's a filter. That's a massive filter that locks a lot of people out of opportunities uh, to, to enhance their wealth. Um, you know, these kinds of limits uh, are, you know, a real uh, breeding ground uh, for the kind of discontent that, w that we can solve. Um, and so investment, right? And I think that's where prediction markets, PMV3 from Jason Dreisner uh, has a lot of promise. I did an interview with him uh, earlier this year. You could look up, I think it's the video is called Prediction Markets on Bitcoin Cash. So anyway, um, you know, how do you think we can make uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, relevant? Uh, how do you think to to more people uh, in the world, how how do you think we can ex you know have a, a more relevant, less insular why uh, for Bitcoin Cash? And uh, please leave your thoughts uh, in the comments, and uh, let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.